It's day three in the racketeering trial of attorney Eduardo Eddie Lucio. Testimony today focused on a murder trial and a wrongful death lawsuit, but a federal judge is allowing the testimony of a convicted drug trafficker. Carlos Justino Ramos, who's also known as Justin Ramos, will be allowed to testify against Lucio. Ramos is serving time for smuggling 2,000 pounds of marijuana, but once worked for former Cameron County DA Armando Villalobos. Judge Andrew Hainan ruling that Ramos will be allowed to testify in the trial. It was a busy day in court with former State District Court Judge Abel Lemus stepping down from the witness stand. After almost two and a half days, Lemus stood by his testimony that Lucio gave him a $1,000 bribe. Prosecutors then called attorney Greg Gladden to the stand. Gladden was the defense attorney for Amit Livingston, a murder suspect who was out on bond when he fled to India. All of it before he was supposed to report to prison for the October 2005 murder of Ermila Hernandez. Lucio made $200,000 in a wrongful death lawsuit filed by Hernandez's family. Villalobos got an $80,000 cut. Each of them gave $1,000 to Lemus. Jurors also heard from Mario Hernandez, the widower of Hermila Hernandez, who testified that Villalobos gave him the idea for the lawsuit and that Villalobos also told him to call Lucio. Testimony in the trial is expected to continue first thing Friday morning. Reporting from Corpus Christi, Sergio Chapa, Action 4 News.